Hello guys, and welcome to the SLB2 Dude here today, bringing you yet another episode of How To Get Good, the series where I go ahead, use a weapon, all its variants, uh, show some gear of what those weapons might use, and of course, addition of the hand cam, to, so you guys can go ahead and see what's going on in my hands when I am using some sort of weapon, so... Today's episode, of course, is going to be none other than the Splat Roller. Uh, we're going to be starting with the Splat Roller and then using the Crack On Roller. And then afterwards, using the Kenzo Roller. This is the build that I'm going to be running. Uh, Ninja Squid and a little bit of speed and I guess a couple bits of efficiency just so I can throw more curling bombs. And of course, some general little subs like Ink Resistance, Quick Super Jump and Bomb Defense. So with all that being said, let's get into things. All right, so we have got all the players in the lobby and they're using the, I guess, the regular slap roller. Now, personally, out of all the rollers that we're going to be using today, this is by far my favorite. <laughs> Mainly because the, the curling bomb is so useful when it comes to just trying to move around the map uh, when you are using a roller at the same time. So uh, this is going to be on Moray Towers, so it's going to be a little bit interesting of how we get things done here, but... As you can see, I am just kind of just basically running now and coming to the Rainmaker. We're trying to get for the pop, but uh, as a roller, it's probably not even the most safest thing to do that. So I'm literally not even going to go for it uh, at this point in time. Michael is trying to get towards uh, the sniper, trying to get closer to it uh, without being spotted by that heavy spotting. And I know that Pro knows I'm there, but I just don't want to basically waste my life here. Just going to quickly take this guy out. Get the roller as well. I mean, not the roller, but the, uh, what you call the Ford Spider Shop Pro. Go ahead. We should be pushing up pretty far with here. I'm actually just going to chill here. Uh, the heavy splatting is at the top, so I'm just going to toss some curling bombs uh, so I can actually lead away the ninja squid my way around. Uh, right now, the, real, the Rainmaker is there by himself. Oh, there is a stealth jump here. We should go ahead and take that out really quickly. Uh He's not trying to go for it. He's actually going all the way back up, so I'm just going to go up. Take that, sir. The Forge should have just spawned in, and Luna's right here. Thank you very much. Everyone is dead, and that's going to be a pretty quick game. <laughs> that's going to be a very quick first game. I feel like we should use the roller, well, at least this roller, just one more time, so we can get a little bit more usage out of it. But either way, I mean, the start wasn't bad. It was pretty quick, I'm not going to lie. Uh, it was a really good start, I'm not gonna lie, so... Let's get into the next one! Alright guys, here we are again, using the Splat Roller. Uh, I mean, when it comes to Rainmaker, we can never really tell if it's gonna be a super quick game or a not super quick game, but here we are, it doesn't really matter. Uh, let's see what we can get in this one, either way. Now, we've got two Splatter Shop Pros on our side, and they have a heavy splatling, and they have a pretty balanced comp, actually. So gonna go straight for the pop this on this map it's probably very possible to do that we got some people you know saying hell hello dude and all that i'm just gonna try and pop this real quick nicely done and i don't think i can push into like i feel like the roller in this game is one of those types of weapons where you can't really just go ahead and push uh just by yourself like well, you can't really push if uh, people see exactly where you are. Like, you can't just go ahead and run up to people like you could kind of with T-Tech. So you can, you kind of have to play a little bit of a shocking game to some certain degree. Uh, I was thinking of jumping, but I don't feel like maybe... I don't think it's really possible because I know there's a guy on the left side. Uh, my friend's going to be able to take him out. And we should be able to push fairly far with him. I'm actually just going to go ahead and push up. Uh, we have a teammate going all the way in. Oh. I can actually hit my flicks correct. There we go. Uh, I'm, I can't push through here, so I'm actually going to go under, be a little bit sneaky. Take the heavy slightling out. This carbon is dead. dead. One is off the spawn. I'm just going to splash down to maybe take them out there. Nothing mind. Okay, now they're dead. Wham! <laughs> take the pro out of the spawn. I probably just wasted my life there. I probably would have had a much better time going around to the left side and, uh, you know, just going around and taking that person out. But, of course... Didn't happen. And we're in a kind of a position where we should just go ahead and hold mid. And we have loads of control. So as a roller, uh, what I can just kind of do is just kind of shock and let wait for them to come for me. Uh, until they're at a certain point where I can go ahead and just go for a one shot. Now, this is probably the case. 
Oh, I died to the Raymaker shot. Okay, that's kind of my fault. I was kind of thinking, should I go for the Carbon first, and then... Or should I go for the Raymaker guy first? And, of course, I chose the Raymaker and missed one shot. And, uh, as you can see, now we're in a kind of a weird situation here, where... You know, we're trying to figure out how to get back middle. I mean, the good thing for us right now is that... In order for them to win, they literally need to win, if you know what I mean. They have to actually, uh, basically push it past zero. <laughs> Nicely done by that heavy splatling. Uh, the awkward thing about that is that he saw exactly where I was, which is kind of like one of the weaknesses or biggest weaknesses of the roller. Uh, as, you know, if they see exactly where you are, then of course they come to outpaint you most of the time. So, you gotta be really careful about things like that. I'm just going to go ahead and toss a couple of curling bombs. if I can get close. I am a roller with ninja squid, so there we go. I got very lucky that that carbon didn't go ahead and kill me. I'm not too sure where the pro- Okay, the pro is right next to the heavy splatling. And I can't push ahead until we get a little bit more paint down. It does seem like we're trying to go to the left side. And I'm just hoping that uh, maybe some of them- They start rotating to that side too, so... Oh, the carbon is on the wall? <laughs> that was the last thing I was expecting there. That was really the last thing I was expecting there. I didn't expect the carbon to be on that type of placement there, but... Lucky for us, we did take out two as we're trying to get back into this game. Oh, well, I mean, we're kind of in the game already. We're, re we're already kind of won. All we need to do, all do is defend. <laughs> I guess that's uh, my bad there for not actually positioning myself in that place. Probably should have expected that the Raymaker shot would have just went into that position there, so... That is my fault. And I, of course, account for all my faults. No one is perfect, so... We do see we're pushing them pretty heavily here. I do want to get in, but... I always kind of like to... I, I play safe quite a lot. I, I play pretty safe into in a way so I know that I'm going to make sure that I can win most of my fights. Because, uh... You know... Sometimes being too risky can really lose you the game, and I don't want to just kind of rush in and then throw my life away uh, for no reason. If there really isn't a reason to. Plus, we're already winning, so it doesn't exactly matter how uh, hard I push in for. Uh, I believe we're looking for the heavy splatling. He's on the grating, so he has showed where he is. I do, I'm do. i not in a really safe position, so I'm just going to get myself out of there. As I attempted to, but the heavy swatling did spot me out there, so... Wasn't great. Probably should have even... I mean, I think the what I probably could have done is just kind of waited uh, before I actually tried to do anything. There is a bit of bomb coming in. Oh! It's a substrate for all they pick. And they need to get to the Raymaker for them to really, you know, do anything. And it doesn't seem like they're going to be able to, so... It seems like we're probably going to win this game. And... Oh, Fairly seamlessly. So, that's a good game on our part. Uh, I mean, I guess the things that you can kind of take out from that game is that... I didn't really need to do much to the point... Or till we got it to, uh, I guess, one. Uh, because there wasn't really any... There wasn't really any point for me to do anything more uh, when we got it to that point. So, either way, good game. Shall see you guys in the next one. Okay, so we are now switching on to the next roller, which is going to be the Beacon slash Baller roller, which in some ways can be very helpful in in a weird kind of way. I mean, the weapon does have beacons, so I'm going to try and figure out some places to go ahead and place them. Uh, luckily, we are playing on Moray, so if we are playing on Moray, I'm just going to go ahead. I'm not even going to bother going for the rain like a pop, uh, mainly because I will die if I drop into middle as a roller, so I mean... Or unless we're close to the pot, but I don't want to risk that. I want to make sure that we are safe and I can go ahead and build baller when I need to and uh, push when it's actually safe. So let's go ahead, use this. This is the build I'm going to be running. I'm going to be using quick respawn, a little bit of it. And yeah, shall see you guys okay, in. So here we are uh, going into Raymaker, Black Belly or Moray. Hopefully it's Moray because then I can show you the, the beacons, the bots and stuff. But I guess it's going to be uh, Blackberry today. This is... Not bad. I mean, I, I know a couple of spots where I can put the my beacons if we are pushing. I don't know if I'm going to be able to go for the Raymaker pot. The only th awkward thing about not having a curling, or using this roll, is that not ha you don't have a curling bomb. Uh, which is, uh, you know, curling bomb is just really helpful in my opinion. 
Uh, hopefully we can get the pop here. I don't think we're going to be able to. Okay, I'm backing up. I'm backing up completely. Uh, I kind of just want some more ink control to some point. Uh, I couldn't get the kill there. I wanted to get... Like, if we had some ink control on the left side, then maybe that would have been possible. I would have been able to move pretty easily to that side, but... It is fine. We have killed three, and we're looking for an orange end up somewhere. Uh, he is backed up and used missiles, so we just need to slowly move ahead. And uh, I'm actually going to put a couple of beacons there. Well, I'm just going to put a beacon there and hopefully be able to push up. Hopefully this Lunar Blaster doesn't, well, not Lunar Blaster, but Range Blaster doesn't notice me too much. I can be able to push that. Okay, we're pushing ahead. I'm going to put a beacon there, just in case. You'll be able to get a lead. Oh, what? I missed the flick on that. It's fine. <laughs> it's totally fine. Uh, I'm going to squick this one right myself back in. I'm going to jump to the beacon in middle. and replace it with another one. So just so you know, if you are a beacon user, you'll deplete your beacons uh, pretty fast instead of just being a person that's not using a beacon. Uh, I can just kind of chill here. Um, I could take the blob out, but... I want to make sure the Rainmaker gets any closer, and then I can take both out, so... You know, a little bit of a patience game that needed to be played there. Uh, that is the orange end zap position there. I'm going to put another beacon here, just in case. And then I'll use my baller just to push the man back a little bit. Uh, just going to pop here. Quickly take the blob out. Hopefully the bubbles don't rebound. Just playing a little bit of a patience game here. That's why I kind of see how this roller is played. It's just, you need a little bit of patience uh, before you can really do much. Hopefully this guy comes up here. I'm not going to be able to pop it because I am a roller, so... I'm just going to back up a little bit. I do have my beacon set up in three places, which is always nice for my teammates, so they can come back in really, really quickly. That guy is very weak. Backing up. Thank you very much. He tried to challenge me. It wasn't going to happen. Uh, they're moving towards the right side, and I'm close to my baller, so I'm just going to quickly charge it. So I have it. I'm here, popping on the man. There we go, easy kill. And now we can push ahead a little bit. This guy decides to push ahead. I should have just went for the flick there. I would have been able to kill him pretty easily. But uh, it does seem like I only have two of my beacons set up, so I'm going to put another one down. And I know for sure that there's two people on the left side. Uh, that's actually another interesting thing, that the beacons uh, also help you. Uh, to locate certain players on the map. Oh, oh he's so weak. Maybe what? Well, again, nope. Okay. So, awkward thing here. They're still trying to move to the right side. I'm gonna come back. I can't stand too close to that spot. Otherwise, I will be killed. Uh, he jumped over me. Come back here. Thank you, sir. Alright. Luckily... I was very lucky on that. <laughs> I was very lucky on that. I could have been taken out uh, pretty seamlessly there. I'm going to try and charge my baller really quick. Oh, I hit him a little bit. Pushing a little bit aggressively. They might try and do some really weird things here. The ninja squid is helping me quite a lot. Uh, there we go. Last one is the splash o -matic. And uh, I'm not too, even too sure where he is, so... We're just going to go ahead and win that game. <laughs> That's worked really well. So, I mean, those beacons did really help. I mean, especially if my teammates died a lot. So, uh, you know, really good stuff. I mean, the game was well played. I had my specials and I always needed them and we won the game. And that's exactly what you want. So we'll go ahead and use the cancer roller now. And I'll switch up my build a little bit. Okay, so here we are using the cancer roller. This is the sort of build that I want to run using this thing. I have a little bit of object shredder, spin speed, uh, one sub ink resistance, one sub bomb defense. Uh, the only thing I don't have on this build right now is uh, the quick super jump, which I could add in any kind of way. Uh, maybe I might have to remove like the ninja squid or something. Uh, but I don't have anything right now that has a quick super jump, which I would highly recommend. So. I mean, personally, don't use this particular build. Get something... Oh, I mean, use this build, but try and remove maybe a swim speed sub for the quick super jump, just so you have it. Uh, but either way, let's get into it. All right, so here we are, guys. This is going to be, hopefully, the final game. Uh, we're going to be using the cancer roller, which is going to be a super helpful roller, in my opinion, uh, when it comes to trying to lead a push, because bubbles, in general, really do help that. 
uh, as long as that the other team don't like brute force will basically just go ahead and shoot them down so that's basically the thing you need to avoid and of course you get a slap bomb it can be really helpful just for uh some interesting plays too so i'm also just going to continue to use my ninja squid as best as i possibly can use my slap bombs if i can at the same time there's a guy also coming left side i do want to play safe i'm just going to wait until he tries to do something weird unless the person moves back there we go. Last one is a dynamo. And that is where he's positioned. So I'm just going to be, again, playing it very safe. I'm not getting hit by this dynamo. Alright. I'm moving ahead slowly but surely. I'm really close to bubbles right now. They've used missiles, so I'm going to try and get my bubbles out before that they... Uh... Oh no, I got picked off there, dude. I wanted to really use my bubbles like... Uh, right after the missiles, because now I, then I know I wouldn't have been wouldn't have been contested there, but uh, then I got taken out. But my teammates did a pretty good job of actually taking those people out that, that were there. Uh, Object Shredder in this case is actually going to help me pop the Rainmaker faster. Uh, the only thing about being positioned here is that we don't have my bubbles now, since I did die. Uh, I did die in that one situation. So thank you very much. Roll is always pretty superior when it comes to. Uh, being under a ledge, you can have some really good, really, really good situations. Oh, the missiles did kill me, though. <laughs> the missiles did kill me, though. That's something I didn't want. We had a little bit of a deja vu moment there, but it's fine. I do love that my teammate here has actually put a bunch of beacons down so we can also jump back in pretty easily. Uh, if they're positioned here, they might try to go left. And I do want to get my... I just want to get my bubbles ready. <laughs> That's all I want to get. So... I'm going to have to paint a little bit. I do have my bubbles ready now. Uh, I can I could do a couple of things right now. I think I'm just going to go for the kill now. There we go. Okay, I have been missiled. I'm actually going to die to those missiles. I should have been way quicker than that. Uh, also, I probably could have used my bubble at that point too, just to kind of defend myself there. That's probably what I would do next time. Uh... Bear in mind, I don't play this weapon a lot. <laughs> I don't play this weapon a lot, but I still feel like I have... I can give a decent understanding of how you could play it. Um, just wait here for a second. Uh, I flopped that quite hard. But that's okay. Uh, they're just gonna ha go ahead and push. It's gonna be a pretty hard push here. I should be able to still defend this pretty well. I mean, my teammates have got it. Uh, handled. It's just like one guy and his friend somewhere. Oh, where'd you go? There's two guys there now. Okay. I'm gonna die to a bomb. <sighs> I should just wait where I was. I just need to be patient. Sometimes you get a little bit impatient with this weapon, I guess. But either way, we're stopping it still. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and throw a bubble. Well, not a bubble, but a bomb. I'm just going to slowly swim my way around here. I know there's a guy right here or something. Oh, I did hear someone there. That is the dynamo, it seems. There is a guy in front, tossing a bomb. I do have bubbles ready, finally. I'm actually going to go ahead and pop them. It's going to help a little bit. Hopefully I can get them popped so I can actually get some ink down. There we go. We're going to go with, get away with one kill, but the dino came, comes in with a nice kill there. Uh, they are all over a half fight too, which is kind of not what we want here. Struggling a little bit, but it's fine. Just going to go ahead and run my way through here. I am going for... Nope. I cannot push right now. I'm in a position that I cannot push. I'm going to toss a bomb here. Hopefully that kills the ammo. There we go. All right, cool. We got a... something going here. I just got to be really careful of the spider shot. I'm actually going to pick the Raymaker up just so we can get something done. I do hear the burst bomb rush. Oh, got to be very careful. Thank you very much, team. I'm positioning myself here. There's two down right now. Oh, the dynamo is dead. I should be able to get a fairly good push here. Thank you very much, sir. And we're going to get the lead. Oh. <laughs> not great. Not great. But 
Hey, we got the lead up there. I picked it out at a good moment of time there. Uh, not the greatest of plays by myself. I'm not gonna lie, but now we just need to... We're just in a position where we just need to defend and they're all going right side right now. So actually, I'm just gonna go jump. I'm jumping back to spawn. Because I don't want them... I don't even want them to attempt to get anywhere near close to us. I'm pretty close to bubbles right now. They need to get fairly close to the Raymaker too. So I'm actually going to use Marbles here. As that will stop. And uh, I guess slow them down a little bit so my teammates can come back in. Just going to toss a couple of bombs. Thank you very much. No, 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 no. I'm throwing. They still have to get fairly close to actually do anything. So we're going to have enough time to actually spawn back in. I'm tossing a bomb. There we go. Alright. <laughs> I mean, that was a game. That was a game for sure. My webcam, unfortunately, well, not webcam, but uh, hand cam did just stop during the game. But either way, it was still pretty well played. Uh, it was a pretty decent... I mean, it wasn't the greatest game on my part, I'm not gonna lie. But uh, I still feel like the decisions that I did choose were, you know, probably the best I could have done. Um, I just had a couple of mess-ups too, so. And here we are once again, guys. This was the episode for how to get good at the Splat Roller, or the three variants of them. Uh, for me, personally, the regular one is probably my most favorite since it is... I mean, you can work, you can do put so much work in uh, with the Curling Bomb. Uh, the Splashdown acts like a, I guess, a Get Out of Jail free card by 40% <laughs> because sometimes you might in the X you're definitely going to get shot out of your splashdowns quite a lot but uh, either way that splashdown can be very helpful if, especially if you try to chain it with some splashdown jumps and weapons that do or other weapons that pair really well with it like baller weapons do that go in so uh, but either way this has uh, been the roller episode I hope you guys enjoyed uh, the, we had some really good games either way and uh, yeah, that's all I gotta say. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Please, if you did, please like, favorite, comment, and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Follow me on Twitter and Twitch, both in the description below. Do it for both if you're feeling generous. Make sure to hit the bell notification button next to the subscription button if you guys would like to be notified whenever I do upload a video. And also consider joining my public Discord where you can go ahead and talk to myself and my due to society community. With all that being said, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I shall see you guys in a future one.